Minecraft has thousands of game mechanics and there's plenty of stuff you don't know. So here are 127 of the best facts possible. Let's start with the best build hack in the game. One of these could easily be avoided using slabs. They make creeper explosions blow up stuff way less and could even save you your diamonds. You might have known you could shoot through honey blocks, but did you know that you could do the same with pots? You can even change gap sizes by using one or two pots. Everyone knows Minecraft has tons of mistakes, but probably the biggest ones are amplified worlds. We don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. Yeah, that's what I meant, because this was found accidentally by Jeb when he was messing around with terrain generation. On Notch's request, Jeb made this a feature in the game. Man, that's kinda wholesome. If you like pandas as much as I do, you're gonna love the secrets they hide. You probably didn't know that they could eat cake, or that they can only be bred if there are at least eight bamboos within a five block radius. Why do they even need bamboo? If you thought fishing rods were meant to catch fish, Fish, you're dead wrong. You can use them to pull all sorts of crazy stuff like anvils, the dragon egg, sand, and even your own greatest enemy, exploding TNT. Speaking of hidden features, bone meal isn't as simple as it looks. If you use it on the seabed of warm oceans, it'll create coral in coral fans. Underwater bases just got 10 times cooler. You won't believe me when I say it's possible to blow up water and lava. These do not have an infinite blast resistance, and using a bit of sneakiness, we can get these absolutely cursed scenes of water and lava holes. I never thought I'd see this. I've always wondered how spiders could climb walls, and I finally got my answer. Mojang was actually cheeky and made spiders treat the sides of blocks as ladders. Everything makes so much more sense now. There's plenty of other upright stuff in Minecraft too. You can make these vertical slabs by exploding TNT right next to them. Doing this stretches out the blocks and makes them look super cool. There is a villager secret I guarantee you never knew. Mojang made an oopsie when villagers were added, and they used to make no sounds. This was only fixed a whopping two years later in Java Edition 1.6.1. Thank God this was patched so fast. Did you know that ancient cities always generate at Y-51? Yeah, you'll never find them on any other height. I was always secretly hoping to find one above ground, but I guess not. Looking at the paintings in Minecraft, you'll notice they have one of the most unique styles ever. Understandably so. You should have seen my face when I realized that there's a real artist called Christopher Zetterstrand behind them. A 49-year-old Swedish man who is now one of the planet's most exposed artists since Minecraft has sold nearly 240 million copies. Did you know mangrove trees actually have a small chance to grow a bee's nest? Although what's weird is that the chance of it happening varies by 1% on Java and Bedrock. Why is Mojang discriminating? Even cooler than that is this optical illusion. If you look at a flower, you'll notice how weirdly it seems to spin with you. That's because Mojang uses what what's called sprites for these flowers. So no matter how and where you look at them from, they'll always seem the same. Look into the flower, and the flower looks back. I know that Minecraft isn't exactly realistic, but this one makes no sense. The chicken in a chicken jockey doesn't lay eggs, but somehow it can still breed with other chickens? Yeah, I have no clue what Mojang was aiming for with this one. PC users have access to one of the coolest features in the game, typing in custom symbols onto signs. Doing this is simple enough by pressing alt on your keyboard and different number pad keys. This gives you signs that are called alt codes, but for the console users out there, I'm sorry buddy. I told you that pandas only breed when they have enough bamboo around them, but did you know that carrots aren't the only thing you can use to breed rabbits? Surprisingly, dandelions get the job done just as well. Man, what is it with food and mobs breeding? If you build the entrance to your home out of enchanted books, you get one of the coolest, most satisfying animations ever. Life feels like a movie with this one. This one is pretty tragic, but in an old version of Minecraft, there was a morbid wolf glitch. If it had come out of water and you decided to murder the poor thing, it would do its water shaking off animation as it fell to the side. I hope you didn't know about this one. Who doesn't love decorating their houses with poppies? But did you know that there used to be roses at one point? In version 1.7.2 in 2013, singular roses were removed from the game to allow space for poppies to exist, and instead, rose bushes were added to make the game more realistic realistic by Mojang. In my humble opinion, I didn't know Minecraft was looking for realism. Minecraft 1.20 introduces the new trail ruins, but did you know they hide a secret that you probably didn't know existed? These ruins are in fact old villages thought to have been hit by some sort of disaster. What or even who this disaster was remains unknown. What do you think? Talking of cool structures, did you know a certain tower marked the locations of strongholds on the map? Yep, I'm talking about those glass pillars that were used to find strongholds before Eyes of Ender 
never existed. Aren't you tired of ugly table legs? Use hanging signs and trap doors instead. You'll get the best tables on the block. Get it? On the block? <laughs> I'm sorry. If you have a keen eye for details, there's something you might have noticed. Armor stands seem to have arms in the smithing table, but these disappear when placed. What is the problem that Mojang has with armor stands? Why can't they give them arms? This bug is the most beautiful one you'll ever see. Sure, you might have known about stacking lightning on rods, but did you know that you could do the same with helmets? If you throw a channeling trident on a player's head wearing a helmet, it will stay there forever. If the player has infinite health, you can get infinite lightning. Did you know that you can have invincible allays in Minecraft? As surprising as it is, just give an allay a totem of undying, and it'll not only survive if you try to kill it, but get the effects from the totem. If you liked that one, here's another mob secret. Using spectator mode, if you enter a mob, you'll get to see how it views the world. For endermen, every color becomes inverted. For creepers, everything turns green. And for spiders, they get quadruple vision. On second thought, all of these are messing with my head. Up next is a secret mechanic that has been removed from Minecraft for years now. Previously, different mobs used to drop specific items. Zombies dropped feathers, zombie villagers dropped zombie villager spawn eggs, and the most useful one of all, zombie piglins could drop cooked pork chop. But I guess having shortcuts is not something Mojang wants you to have, so it was removed. The amount of fish I've killed building an aquarium is absurd, so I'll save you the time and the fish with a miniature aquarium. Place trap doors around a block of water and you have the simplest aquarium in the game. Why couldn't anyone tell me this sooner? Secret rooms will always be one of the best parts of Minecraft, and you could make them super easily by using powdered snow. Simply make a column of powdered snow leading underground and put on your favorite leather boots. Behold, your very own hidden cave. Before the 1.20 update, vexes in Minecraft used to look like this, but with the new update, they got a redesign and now they look like this. Much more similar to the LA as if they were twins with different personalities. If you use Riptide without an Elytra, say goodbye to any chance of surviving. This is because your fall damage stacks up and regardless of how slowly you fall to the ground or the kind of armor you wear, you will most definitely die. Sailing over lava with a boat probably sounds like a crazy idea, but at one point in Minecraft, you could actually craft an obsidian boat to travel on top of lava. This would have been incredible today, but unfortunately it was long removed by Mojang since it was an April Fool's joke. Spoiler alert, it wasn't funny. What if I told you it's possible to fake chests on a boat? Just dispense a boat on top of a chest and it'll be a complete illusion. Pair it up with this death trap and you have the most evil build in Minecraft history. Minecraft really brings out the worst in us, huh? Did you know that hanging signs can float? Just add a hanging sign to a block of your choice and then remove the block. That definitely looks cursed. Unfortunately, this only works for sideways signs and not those hanging from below the block. Have you ever seen a research-based Let's Play series? You have, but you just don't remember it. Besides me gaslighting you, Ethos LP took a unique twist on your good old survival Minecraft. Ethos started this series way back in 2010 and dived super deep into the technical aspects of Minecraft. Minecraft, experimenting with mob behavior, messing with redstone, and exploring game mechanics. There's nothing he hasn't done. If you mine a block that can be instantly mined like torches, you'll also mine the block behind it and freeze the block breaking animation. Just make sure to hold the mining button for more than one second. Wow, that was a lot of saying and doing mining, but you get the idea. Having a horde of llamas at your service sounds pretty cool, or cruel if you look at it. But if you attach a lead to one llama, the entire herd in the area follows you. Having infinite storage along with some adorable companion sounds pretty good to me. One of the worst decisions made by Mojang was removing chests that could be opened by a key mechanism. I know Minecraft is not exactly a realistic game, but having tiny Minecraft keys for all my chests would have been incredibly cool. This would have been perfect in using the OP chests that existed in survival, but let's not spoil all the fun yet. Beds have always needed a certain detail. If you use a red leather cap and pistons, you can finally make beds with pillows. I can't get any sleep lately, but at least Steve's gonna have the best night of his life. That's not all. You can do the same hack with bookshelves. It'll look like you have actual books on top of them. Fake it till you make it, am I right? In the new update, Minecraft has added camels, which are desert horses, honestly. But did you know they can actually eat cactuses? Yeah, so if you wanna breed them, cactus is what you need. I don't know why, but that makes my mouth hurt. Now, what if I told you there was a block that was never meant to exist in Minecraft? Actually, it was supposed to exist, but you get the point. This is a texture used by Mojang as a placeholder while they develop textures for new blocks and looks pretty ridiculous on normal blocks. If you rename a Vindicator to Johnny, he turns into a serial killer slaughtering all mobs besides other illagers. This is a reference to the movie The Shining and the famous line, Here's Johnny! Now let's talk about some blocks that were removed from Minecraft. Firstly, cogs were a thing in Minecraft. Surprisingly, their 
function was eventually meant to be the same as the redstone we know and love today, but Mojang probably opted out of this since cogs didn't have that mystical look they were aiming for. You might have also even heard rumors of different block variants in the first one to two years of Minecraft. Blocks like wool slabs, wool stairs, and dirt slabs all in an attempt to make Minecraft building more diverse. You might have known that renaming stuff to Grum flips it upside down, but did you know you can create a mini portal with this? Use a flipped armor stand and add respawn anchors to make this awesome portal design. Seeing this in a dark lit dungeon would be sick. And on a more comical note, if you summon a zombie villager and mark it as a baby using this command, it will still summon an adult zombie, but with crazy speed. I guess they don't lie when they say every adult has a child within them, huh? Tired of the weird sound the skull treakers make? Use a water bucket to waterlog them and feel the anxiety of hearing them fade away. However, this won't stop the warden from spawning, so be careful. Before Bed Wars, Skyblock, or any PvP map, there was a world that was the true pioneer of Minecraft PvP. One of the very first and most iconic PvP maps was Super Pirate Battle Royale. It really gave Minecraft players a taste of what completely demolishing their friends felt like. I mean, who doesn't love two ships blasting each other with TNT? All of you know about the newest pitcher plant, but did you know you can make it stop its growth? If you place a string on this plant during any part of its life cycle, it will stop there and not grow any further. If you want to go a step further and make pitcher plants look even more cursed, use a debug stick to vary this plant's top and bottom halves. The different combinations are, in fact, the ages of the plant. This does give you some crazy combinations though. This is an item that only true OGs of Minecraft know. Ten years ago, a nether reactor core used to exist in Minecraft Pocket Edition. This unique block was used to create a nether reactor, which would generate these trippy obsidian towers. If you love art as much as I do, this secret painting will blow your mind. Make a banner with these designs and colors and add it to an item frame. Afterward, just add a carved pumpkin and you have the coziest painting in all of Minecraft. Did you know Minecraft used to exist in the 1990s? Just look at the gameplay from Minecraft 1994. Okay, okay, I'm just messing with you. This is actually Minecraft 3D, which was an April Fool's joke in 2019 and was meant to be a take on a runescape-ish Minecraft. The backstory for this was that the best game in the world was found collecting dust in an office. Yeah, maybe Jeb should stay away from making up stories next time. I've got another villager glitch for you. If you have some wild luck, you can see villagers sleeping in a rather questionable position. Can you even tell where their legs are? The new chiseled bookshelves are a dream come true for map makers and redstoners. If you want the books to not be removable, you can use a debug stick to place books in them and they will remain there permanently. And if you're a redstone lover, you can actually use the new bookshelves to make secret passages with them as they can produce redstone signals if you combine them with comparators. Speaking of blocks, what if you had access to every item possible in survival? Look at this stack of spawners, for example, or this stack of fire and nether portals. This was a test build in beta 1.6 that would generate 11 of these chests that spawn, containing every single item stack you could imagine. This entire update was like a fever dream. Fed up with the mobs surrounding your house at night? Use rail tracks. And no, not for minecarts to run away, but as protection. For some odd reason, mobs cannot cross these rail tracks, making them perfect makeshift barriers. In an old snapshot, if chests were placed over a chunk boundary, Minecraft would go haywire and cut the chest in half. If I really wanted that, I would have made a single chest myself. Thanks, Chunk Edge. How large do you think the biggest Minecraft biome is? 10,000 blocks? 100,000 blocks? What about 1 million blocks? Nope, it's actually this 13 million block ocean. And the worst part? The spawn is in the exact center and there are no trees to craft a boat. If you manage to escape, go apply for the Olympics. Sure, fancy mansions are cool, but I'd rather suffocate myself to death in the world's smallest Minecraft house. Building this isn't very difficult since you only need trap doors. But if you live in this, maybe therapy would be a good choice. Did you know that in the new 1.20 update, four new paintings were added? If you try to get them in creative normally, you won't be able to. But if you go into options, controls, and then turn operator items on, you'll find that a new selection has been added to your creative spawn menu. This gives you access to the four new paintings, fire, earth, water, and wind. Could it be a reference to Avatar? Without torches, cave exploration wouldn't exist in Minecraft, but pff, who wants those boring golden hued torches? Have a look at these. They were colored torches that were present in Java and Bedrock, but unfortunately removed, and now you can only find them in the Education Edition. Going to the Mesa biome just to find some terracotta is always boring, but you can get it even in the Cherry Grove biome only using dirt. Throw a water bottle onto dirt to make a block of mud, then put this mud on a block of stone with a pointed dripstone underneath. Now dig up the clay and pick up the clay balls
dolls to remake the clay. Finally, just put the block of clay into a furnace and then you have it. Your very own artificial terracotta. Evokers in Minecraft seem to hate sheep. That's because if the evoker and the sheep are close together, the evoker will absolutely freak out and cast his spells to change the color of the sheep. In most cases, every sheep in this area turns red. When exploring end cities, you might see something unusual in the blocks around you. Sometimes double, triple, and even quadruple shulkers can spawn at one position, which gives you a jackpot of shulker shells. Mojang should be spoiling us with similar bugs, but no, they gotta have half chests. Even if you've been playing since launch, I bet you've never seen this portal before. That's because it's custom built. You can use stained glass to make a lot of different portals, just like this one. Mojang is known for novelty changes. Previously, if you died because of leaving the world border, it used to say you were suffocated in a wall. Now it just says that you left the confines of the world. Did you know that in the new 1.20 update, slimes and magma cubes are affected by jump boost potions? Yeah, pretty comical, but who doesn't love a slime jumping 80 feet into the air? Did you know that there was a super cool in-dev structure in Minecraft's early days? It was these cursed looking obsidian walls that you're looking at. They originated from 00, zero the very center of the map, and ran in definitely throughout the map. Cool? Sure. But needed? I wouldn't say so. If Minecraft TNT has failed your dreams of underwater terraformation, I have a way to waterproof it so it even explodes underwater. Just place a gravity block on top of normal TNT and see all your explosive dreams come true. Every Minecraft city deserves its own signs too. You can use newly decorated pots to make these super cool traffic signs. We all need a creeper warning, don't we? It would be very convenient if you could know exactly what time of day it is in Minecraft. For that reason, alone, a pocket watch was planned for the game that would show the time like an analog clock. However, this never came to fruition. Did you know you can glitch out the end sky? Simply place your bed next to the end portal, leave the end, and re-enter immediately. Now kick back, relax, and take in the amazing view. Imagine doing this with some crazy shaders. Now that gives me the chills. Armor trims are one of the biggest additions with the new Minecraft Trails and Ruins update, but have you wondered how many armor trims you can have? The number will definitely surprise you. With there being a total of 16 types of trims, you can produce a whopping amount of nearly 700 decillion combinations, which is a number this big. Yeah, that's a lot. Sure, you might have known about the pink sheep or the brown mushroom, but did you know that there's a hidden brown variation of the panda in Minecraft? You can use this command to get it in creative or try to find it in survival, but that's super difficult since this has a crazy 2.04% chance of spawning in the wild. It's safe to say Bedrock Edition has has had the best bugs in Minecraft history because years ago, you could duplicate the Ender Dragon. If you baited the Ender Dragon to pass through the end gateway, it would actually teleport to the outer end islands and a new one would spawn. So technically, you could have your own army of Ender Dragons. I bet that there's something you never knew about mushroom blocks. If you place a block and destroy it next to a line of these mushroom blocks, you get this awesome pattern. You can create striped walls with this and even use it to decorate the interior of your house. You can even do something crazy with chests if you have your base on the world boundary. Use pistons to combine glass blocks and place a chest inside. That doesn't look right. And we talked about the four new paintings Minecraft has added, but that's not the only hidden fact about the paintings. In the new 1.20 update, the game displays the name of each painting you obtain. Much easier compared to the roulette you had to go through previously to find paintings you wanted. For example, this famous painting of a pig with a princess is called RGB, and this famous painting of a skull on fire is called Skull on Fire. Well, who would have guessed it? Being chased by a zombie, spider, and skeleton all at once is hell, isn't it? Maybe if you had this freeze enchantment that Mojang removed, you'd have been able to escape. Its effect slows down enemies and even has a chance to freeze them, giving you a chance to turn the tables. This would have made survival so easy, especially combined with the Scarecrow. More on that later. A lot of you might not know that Minecraft is hiding its past and potentially its future in one type of block, the chiseled blocks. For example, the chiseled sandstone block has a creeper face on it, then the chiseled chiseled red sandstone block has a wither on it, while the chiseled nether brick has a wither skeleton face carved into it. Finally, the chiseled black stone has a piglin face on it. But there's a big mystery. The chiseled stone bricks, deep slate, and quartz remain a topic of dispute. There are several theories about what they are, but what if they represent a mob to come? Only time will tell. Over the years, I've learned that the simplest structures are the hardest to build. I don't even want to tell you how long I suffered with fridges. That's why this is the easiest way to make one. Use either white or black concrete as a base and throw on colored banners of your choice. Finally, use an iron bar for the handle. Yeah, this could have saved me years of fridge trauma. You might remember the Far Lands and how famous they were, but what if I told you there's a seed that can almost replicate them? 
This seed that has a massive face opening towards the sea is absolutely stunning. There's plenty of open space inside the caves to settle down and tons of resources around the cliff faces. I've always hated world generations because of my crap luck, but all these worlds are making it grow on me. And did you know that not only can you mount the new camels with a friend, but that if you are mounting one, you're invincible? Yeah, if you're mounting a camel, you can freely walk through all the hostile mobs you want and you won't receive any damage. Even the warden, which is the most powerful mob there is. It'll be as if they didn't exist at all. On a similar note, in 1.19.4, there's another cool feature that most of you probably didn't know about. You can enchant jack-o'-lanterns. Yep, that's right. Just place a jack-o'-lantern in an anvil in any curse book with it to give your jack-o'-lantern an aesthetic glow. Did you know that you can use your minecarts without any rails? Yeah, I'm not lying. If you build up enough speed, you can fly off the rails and the minecarts continue moving infinitely. Why build railways when you can just take advantage of this with a hint of cleverness? There used to be very weird looking mobs in the game in its earliest phase. On December 29th, 2009, the in-dev version of Minecraft was released, which had these four mobs, Steve, Black Steve, Rana, and Beast Boy. They look kind of unsettling now that I think about it. Minecraft Diversity is a playthrough world that Cupquake popularized all the way back in 2014. It was one of the earliest series that featured several types of gameplay maps like parkour, mazes, trivia, and droppers, all squeezed into one gigantic world. Wait, so that's why it's named Diversity. Why didn't I realize this earlier? Normal nether portals? Nah, that crap is boring. Mix up a few skulk sensors, respawn anchors, and a crying obsidian for the sickest nether portal. Just imagine having one of these in an ancient city. The lighting here makes it look even better. Pigs can't fly, right? Or can they? This mind-blowing secret makes pigs fly in Minecraft. Just attach a leash to a pig, then fly using your elytra, and you can take not only a pig, but if you're with a friend, they can ride the pig and now you will both get to go wherever you're going. You'll love this next one. Use a fishing rod to hook yourself to entities, travel to the nether, and then travel back. The line will be invisible, and you can now pull any animal or activate any trap to your heart's content, and that's not even the best part. You can do this from an infinite distance, so whether you pull a TNT trap from miles away or from a house next door, the fishing rod glitch is sick. One-time events are pretty rare themselves, but perhaps the rarest items ever because of a one-time event are two hidden capes that only first-year players know about. The Christmas 2010 cape and the New Year's 2011 cape were one-time items that only existed for a few days, so if you own one, you're one of the OGs. Sure, campfires might cook stuff faster, but their best variant is found in the nether. Use soul soil or soul sand instead of the normal coal and you'll get this stunning blue campfire. If you have a skulk-themed base, you can create an awesome deep blue aesthetic. No one likes hostile mobs, so to scare them away, there used to be scarecrows. They function just as you'd imagine a real-life scarecrow, yet for some reason they were never implemented by Mojang. With the new armor trims, who doesn't want a banging fit? That's why this all armor trim seed is so impressive. The moment you spawn in, you'll see a woodland mansion and a village right in front of you. That's rare enough, but look down and you have a massive hole where you'll find an ancient city within seconds. And it's not only the overworld that's cool. Use a nether portal in your spawn area and you'll find two bastion remnants really close to your nether spawn. And back in the overworld, you'll find not one, not two, but four of them. Man, this seed is a gift that keeps on giving. What if I told you respawning in hardcore was possible? I know for sure it could have saved those poor souls from sleepless nights. And personally, I would have loved to see Filza continue his hardcore world. All you need to do is enable cheats and switch back to survival, but sadly, it's been fixed now. Ever wanted a TNT-proof house? Make your base out of oak leaves. You heard right. Use oak leaves and waterlog them. Somehow this gives the structure complete TNT and vulnerability. Instead of having a boring old furnace to cook food, you should use this cooking pot. Place a clay pot over a campfire and attach it with chains to the surrounding blocks. Much better. All I need now are a few spooky stories. No matter how big of a TNT bomb you build, there is one block that outdoes them all. The Super TNT. One of these can easily outdo any sort of Minecraft bomb you could have ever imagined and was the most dangerous block to ever exist. Look at the size of that insane explosion. If you place end portal frames in this exact orientation I'm showing you, you can achieve something bizarre. Once the frames are filled with the eyes of Ender, the end portal is enabled and looks something like this. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look right, though you can only do it in creative mode. Moving on from that traumatizing portal, this next fact is pretty melancholic. If you rename a normal rabbit to Toast using a name tag, it turns into a unique black and white texture. This is in reference to when a user requested his missing rabbit Toast be put in the game back when rabbits were added into Minecraft in 2014. Pretty 
heartwarming that Mojang memorialized Toast for Eternity. If you're someone who loves to show off their goodies, then this one's for you. Place an item on top of a cauldron filled with lava, and you'll get these illuminating display stands. Or, if you prefer a different aesthetic, place an item frame below a scaffolding instead. Who knew you can make showing off this easy? You might have known that there are 84 mobs in the game, but do you know the rarest one? And no, it's not the brown panda or the brown mushroom, but it's actually the Jolly Llama. It only appeared once during a Christmas update. Truly tragic. I mean, look at its adorable face. Nearly 10 years ago, a world so unique was released on planet Minecraft that it took the escape map genre by surprise. Of course, that world is Cops and Robbers 4 High Security. The previous versions of this map were famous enough, but High Security really gave you a taste of the bitter Minecraft prison life. Who knew breaking the law would be so fun? For legal reasons, that's a joke. We've all heard the saying, cats always land on their feet. Well, I put that to the test. Try dropping a cat from any height and you'll find that it always lands on its feet no matter what. Unfortunately, it doesn't have nine lives, so you better be careful with your feline friends. Wish you had this cat-like ability too? Well, you can. If you jump from a structure 35 blocks or higher while holding the W and space keys and sneaking right before you hit the ground, voila, no more fall damage. Naturally generated trees are more boring than 30-year-old men playing bingo on a Friday. To spice things up, use blocks with similar color palettes to build custom trees. You can vary the shape, size, depth, and aesthetic as much as you want for infinitely better trees to surround your baller mansion. Have you ever seen an axolotl in real life? They're the most adorable thing ever. And Minecraft makes them even cuter. But what if green axolotls existed? Yes, there used to be snapshots of a green axolotl. Unfortunately, they were never formally added to the game. <sighs> This is the worst tragedy ever. This seed should have never existed. Go to these coordinates and you'll realize something is off. This lone tree has generated over 100 blocks in the sky. The best part is the view from the tree is absolutely stunning because of all the ice around it. Maybe I should make a video on tree block survival. Take a look at this stack of diamonds. Yep, you guessed it. There's a glitch that allows you to understack items. Looking at these stacks makes me feel like I'm committing a war crime. Plus, it's a pretty good way to get the devs over at Mojang a heart attack. But wait till they find out about the sniffer glitch we have later in the video, that'll sure send them into shock. If you are a lost Minecraft traveler looking for salvation, then the Temple of Notch is the place for you. For either you are cursed or blessed, you shall know not. Who am I kidding? Even Notch can't help me. Just look at him cry. Tired of having nowhere to store your items because your inventory is full? Well, Mojang created the bundle to solve this problem, allowing an entire stack of items so you can have a mini backpack at all times but is not available to users yet. Unless you are watching this video and enable the experimental options in the world setting and select the option to enable bundles, allowing you to actually be able to use them before everyone else. From 1.3.1 until snapshot 15w44a, enchanted golden apples could be crafted using gold blocks and an apple. This was the most convenient way to get enchanted golden apples, but was removed since players started abusing this mechanic by making golden apple farms. Another item that was planned was quivers. Just imagine you on your favorite horse, riding through the sunset with a quiver attached and a bow in hand. Yeah, that definitely makes me want to have this back in the game. There was another fascinating object that was never implemented. The amber blocks. Can you guess what they did? They emitted amber hue. Unexpected? I don't think so, but they do look ethereal. If you plan on creating lava builds, this one's definitely for you. You can use pots to create these awesome geysers by placing carpets on top of them. Not only do they look clean, but they also double down as mob protection since this is a light source. One of Minecraft's most famous seeds is 404. At a glance, it seems like a pretty generic world. However, there's a massive hidden cave below your spawn. Together with old Minecraft, which was insanely difficult, this seed created the 404 challenge, where players got absolutely destroyed by mobs and lava. The new mob, the Sniffer, is really cute, but kind of useless really. That is, unless you use this command, which allows you to ride any mob you want, including the Sniffer. There's a secret block in the game called Block 36, or more commonly as Moving Piston. This block is completely invisible because it covers different parts of a block since it's constantly moving. Interestingly though, it holds water like it's nothing. Minecraft isn't really a horror game, but sometimes, <clears throat> as I was saying, sometimes you can use builds to pull off jump scares like this one. All you need is an armor stand and a mob head, and you'll have your personal heart attack trap. Time for my personal favorite, instant sniffer hatching. Use a redstone powered 
hard sticky piston, attach to a sniffer egg, and let it run for 10 minutes. Now I know this looks exactly like the villager enjoying himself, but trust the process. Once the egg hatches, the moss blocks are glitched, and you can use them to insta-hatch sniffer eggs. This is one of the coolest glitches ever. Oversized mob statues like these look hilarious. To build one, a few blocks and slabs will do the trick. Damn, Steve's been putting on a lot of weight, huh? Your Minecraft home definitely needs a bathroom, and no bathroom would be complete without a sink. That's why using a decorated pot below a composter gives you the best drainage system ever. For our last secret, there's a way to make your entire Minecraft bedrock world a void. Use this absolutely crazy command and you'll be surrounded by nothing but a void in no time.